All right, today let's talk about how to find dy dx for x cubed plus 2xy squared is equal to sine y, and we are going to talk about the Calc 1 way and also the Calc 3 way. Let's do a Calc 1 way first, which is just the typical implicit differentiation. And to do so, I can just look at this equation and then differentiate this with respect to x, and then just go to the work. So the derivative of x to the third power, we get 3x squared, and right here, we will have to use the product rule. So I will keep these two as the first function. And then multiply by the derivative of the second. The derivative of y squared, put the 2 to the front. And then subtract 1, 2y to the first power. But y is in the function of x. So we multiply by its derivative, which is dy dx. So that's how we squeeze out the dy dx. And then we will add the second function, which is y squared times the derivative of the first, which is just going to be 2. And that's equal to the derivative of sine is cosine, and then the input stays, but I use the chain rule, the derivative of y is dy dx. And now we will just have to collect the dy dx together and do all that, right? So have a look. This right here multiplied it out, we get 4xy dy dx. I will move this to the other side, so minus cosine y dy dx. And then I'll put this and that to the other side. So we have negative 3x squared minus 2y squared. And then right here, we can factor out the dy dx. So we have 4xy minus cosine y and then dy dx. That's equal to this. And then finally, we can just divide this to the other side. So dy dx equals negative 3x squared minus 2y squared over 4xy minus cosine y. And that is the Calc 1 way of doing the dy dx when we have a derivative where the where would the y is not isolated. Now, let's talk about the Calc 3 way. The Calc 3 way is the following. Uh, this right here is the Calc 3 way. Multivariable, meaning that we will be talking about functions with more than one variable. And suppose we have an equation like this. We can always put whatever on the right hand side to the other side, right? So we can write an equation in this, fun in this fashion. Let's say a function f of two variables, like this. And suppose this right here is equal to 0. Then in fact, right here, we can talk about the so-called total derivative, or the total differential. So what we want to do is look at this and take the partial of this function with respect to x. And then we will multiply by the derivative of x with respect to x. And then we combine that with the partial of f with respect to y. And then here we will have dy dx. So this part is just like the chain rule. Yeah, and then the whole thing gives you the derivative of this, which is just going to be 0. But notice dx dx, this right here is just equal to 1. So it doesn't matter. And if you look at this, it has similar flavor because what we are about to do is put this to the other side and then divide this. You will see that this is going to give us dy dx equals negative and for the partial f with respect to x, let's just write it, this notation. It's definitely easier. Over this, right, which is f with a subscript y. So this is the formula for finding implicit differentiation. Yeah. So now, why don't we try that? Step one, make one side equal to zero. So put that to the other side. So here we have x cubed plus 2xy squared minus sine y, and that's equal to zero. Step two, call this to be our function, f of xy. Step 3, use that formula, dy dx 
is going to be the following. We will have a negative. This notation means look at this function and then we'll take the derivative with respect to x, meaning y is just a constant. So we don't need to use the Prata rule at all. Very nice, huh? Now, derivative of x to a third power with respect to x, we get 3x squared. Derivative of 2x is just 2. And then this right here is just a constant, so let's multiply it. So we have plus 2 and then y squared. The derivative of negative sign y with respect to x is just going to be 0 because y is just like a constant in the x world. Ha! Huh. That matches. Over partial f with respect to y, so look at this. Now, why is the variable? So if we take the derivative of x to the third power with respect to y, 0. So now, differentiate y squared, put the 2 to the front. 2 times 2 is 4, and then the x is just a constant multiple. And then subtract 1. That's what we have. And then take the derivative of this. With respect to y, the derivative of negative sign is negative cosine, and then we have the y. And guess what? We are done in like, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds if I didn't talk that much. That's it.